Hi, and uh, welcome to this next lecture. We're going to have a quick look at visual style, just talk through some options. Um, it's something you're going to have to decide upon before you start building everything, before you start creating lots of concept art. Uh, maybe you have a couple of different ideas and you want to try them out. Well, this is the time to do it. It's, you know, maybe one or two different styles. Uh, and at some point you'll decide which one you're going to go for. I've got some other games here we're just going to have a brief look at. Um, the first one being Fez. An obvious style here. Uh, 2D pixel art. Very bright, very colourful. Obviously influenced by the old 8-bit era of video game development. Uh, and actually a very cool game. But it has a 3D element to the actual game mechanic. In that you can rotate the world. So it's actually very cool. But the visual style is clear, it's it's fun, it's bright, uh, it's in keeping with this style of game and it works really well. So that's, that's 2D pixel art, also known as pixelated, um, for obvious reasons. So that's cool, that's, that's uh, Fez. So the next one is an abstract kind of look. It's, you know, this is not really, um, doesn't take anything from the real world. It, it uses colors and shapes to, to for its art. It's very cool, hence being abstract. Right, used in a lot of sort of like quick blast fire shooters, hence geometry wars. Um, if you're doing some sort of shooter, you might want to consider that. Zelda, the newest, the latest Zelda, Breath of the Wild. This is a very cool game. Probably one of the best games ever created, to be to be fair. And you can clearly see um, 2D cell shaded characters in this game. Uh, but the environment is more aching towards a sort of cartoony look. Very bright, very colourful, beautiful to look at. Um, uh, and... You know, don't be fooled if you think cell shaded and you know abstract or 2D pixel art is easy or easier than any other. They're all very complicated. World of Warcraft, a cartoony style, jumps right out at you. Uh, everything's very sort of chunky looking, from bright colours. Characters are are chunky and fat and. You know, guns are like big and chunky. And I love this style. And I love this game's actually pretty cool too. I probably played played this far too much, but never mind. But the visual style is very cool. It's very colourful, very bright, very chunky, and not not easy to create. So don't be fooled by by some of the simplicity of the geometry and the colours. And that it's you've got to keep it consistent all the way through your game. So it's you know, it's not easy. And then we have a, an exaggerated look. This is leaning more towards the uh, real world. But obviously Batman here is very exaggerated. You can see by his features and obviously this muscle bound torso here. Uh, but even the environments are quite exaggerated because it's very grey and punctuated with these bright colours. Uh, to make them stand out and it looks looks very cool creates a really nice atmosphere so you know you might want to go for that very dark sinister sort of uh, moody environment uh, very exaggerated characters uh, and lots of colors popping out of the scene finally we have um, last of us photorealistic now photorealistic is quite cool it's becoming very popular i do like photorealistic um, the, this is quite hard to achieve because as humans we know what things look like we walk down the street we can see sizes of windows sizes of doors you know we know how roughly how big cars are and you, you know we're familiar so if you build something in this style that's not quite right or too big or too small it jumps right out of you you can it's obvious to see so you gotta be really careful and if anything even though this is uh photorealistic and taken from the real world perhaps then you know it's it's quite hard to achieve that consistent look and 
keep everything in check. Uh, this is the style we're going to go for, for our concept art, photorealistic. But the one I'm going to create will be quite saturated, very uh, rich in colour. So, And that's a deliberate um, aspect that I've decided to include. So that's photorealistic. Fantastic game, probably best game in recent times, apart from Zelda, of course. Yeah, so... Let's move on and uh, start creating some sketches. <laughs> 